Hey, how's it going? Spy here and welcome back to another Scrap Mechanic Mini City episode. In the last episode we checked out this little fire department I made here and it turned out pretty well. You guys seem to really like it and eventually I am going to be building a ladder truck for the garage here and that should be pretty fun. I just haven't really had time to figure out how to make the ladder quite yet. But anyways, today we are going to be checking out another requested building and this one is a pretty big one but still pretty small considering that it is actually a hospital hospitals are usually pretty big way bigger than this and I think I managed to make a pretty small big hospital if that makes any sense at all anyways let's cross the street here and up here as you can see we have the mini city hospital it is a very big improvement from the very first mini city hospital that we had. My architectural skills have improved greatly since then. Even though I think I can still improve on this. Like this white pillar here. What is that doing there? I don't know. I think it looks fine there. But anyways, as you can see, we have a giant H up there for hospital or I guess <laughs> Honda. Maybe once you're done your treatment you get a free Honda or something. Don't don't question it guys. And then up here what we have is this Spy Cakes sky blue cross here to represent the mini city hospital. And then over here we have the mini city ambulance. Now this thing is pretty big considering that um, my fire truck over there is almost the same size of this but I couldn't really get it to look good if it was any smaller or um, any bigger because I actually only have one seat in there look at that look at th that that's the best I could get it any smaller and it would look pretty funny it looks very similar to my old box truck though but anyways we are going to be checking out the hospital now just a note before we start this hospital is not very accurate to real hospitals but we are going to enter inside now and inside you can see that we got two double doors here. I was going to put a sensor here. I could still do that I guess. I should probably put more lights under here as well. Just like that. I think that looks alright. But anyways, let's uh, go into the lobby here. And up here we have the receptionist area. Or the receptionist desk. This is where you would uh, sign in or uh, register yourself into the hospital they got uh, some computers here with simple mouses yep some stools and also a few filing cabinets and plants there's plants everywhere in this hospital you gotta make everyone feel good it's a hospital and then over here we have the little waiting room it's really small really small six seats six blue seats look at that pretty boring pretty boring all you get to do is look at plants and talk to each other I guess uh, or uh, I, don't, I don't know and then on the walls, you guys will see that there is actually these little handrails because uh, some people can't really get around that great. So we get these little handrails to like assist system of walking. And then back here, what we have is a little checkup room where the doctor would call you in from the waiting room here and be like, uh, uh, B Billy, uh, I'm here to see you, Billy. And Billy would slowly walk up and then the doctor would see him and uh, Billy would sit up here and get evaluated. For the doctor to see what's wrong with him. And that's when Billy learnt of the horrible news. Billy, you're made of blocks. Well then, you, you have fun Billy, you have fun. But anyways, that is the little checkup room here. Oh, poor Billy, oh, poor, poor, poor Billy. I get the little uh, doctor's desk there. With a computer, and a mouse, and his mug there, a trash can. We also got the sink here with some foot pedals. But that is pretty much it for the little checkup room. Let's head on over to the back here. So in the back here, we have a, a little elevator. This elevator goes to the second floor. We're going to go up there in a second. And then right here, we have the 
emergency doors. So this is the doors where the EMT or the emergency services would pull up the ambulance and pull in the patient through here. So I might change the roof color. I just stuck to gray because it's very standard. I might use these regular tiles here, but I'm not quite sure how that would look. Maybe paint them a gray or something, maybe a, a, a tan color. But anyways, in this little door here, what we have is the operation room. Now keep a note that this is a really small operation room, considering that this is supposed to be miniature. So this is the operating room. If you have seen a busy operating room before, imagine how this one would be with all this room in here. Crazy. So we got double sinks here. Make sure your hands are all tidy before you uh, do an operation. We got the operation table here or the little bed thing. We got some machines here. We got a little fluid pole here. And we also have a little table and a radio to listen to some radio. Anyways, enough of that radio. Let's check out the little operation table here. We got some buttons here. This button tilts it. Um, I think that tilted it the wrong way. There we go. That's how it's supposed to work. And on this side, we actually have a button to tilt the head um, piece there. And we also have a button right here to turn the table. This one is exactly the same to the one in my fallout shelter medical bay. Very cool, very cool. But anyways, that's the little operating room. Let's head back out here and let's actually go up to the second floor. So we're just gonna press this button here to go up. But if you guys haven't noticed, there's no door on the elevator. It's not very safe at all, don't, don't fall down. Well, at least if you do, you're in the hospital. See, so you're all fine, you're all fine. So on the second floor here, we have the recovery area or the hospital rooms. So we got some bathrooms here. Um, the toilet's just supposed to be white. I missed some things here and there. <laughs> but there we go, we got some bathrooms. Just sit on the toilet if you need to. And there we go. And out here, we got a bunch more of these handrails all over the place because this is the uh, recovery area or the hospital rooms. There might be some people who are not able to walk by themselves properly. So they got some handrails here to assist them in that. And in here, we got a really simple hospital room. We got another fluid pole here. We got the hospital bed. These are the same from the fallout shelter as well. I really like this design. It's really cool looking. And then up here we got a little TV to entertain everybody while they're um, recovering in the hospital. <laughs> because I could see that being pretty boring without anything else than a TV. A bunch of windows looking down into the city streets. We got a little uh, living room type area here where people could sit and watch TV if they really want to hang out, socialize. But over here is a, another little hospital room. This is exactly the same as the other one. I think this TV is a little bigger though. No, they're exactly the same. And then over here, what we have is like a little maintenance room. We got a shelf here with some supplies. We got a mop and bucket. We got a plant that's growing, I guess. And then we got a washer for washing clothes and bedding. Pretty cool. But anyways, that's pretty much it for the second floor. We're gonna head back down and we are going to check out the ambulance. Now the ambulance is pretty cool. It took me a bit to make because I wasn't sure how to size it like I said, but I think it turned out pretty well. So this one is based off of the ones in my area. So we got like these really cool colors on the side here as well as just a bunch of lights everywhere. I think that's pretty standard for ambulances. <laughs> but anyways, let's open up the back of the ambulance here. The Wheels kind of glitch out as you can see there. But anyways, in the back here, we got a little gurney. We got a seat back here for one of the crew members to sit and monitor the patients. We got a little cabinet here for supplies, but that is pretty much it for the back there. And let's hop inside the ambulance and take this for a little drive. So we got four buttons here. One to close the doors, as well as two, I guess. And three is to turn the sirens on. Before is to turn your headlights on and here we go. Let's go. We're gonna turn the sirens on now and here we go It's pretty simple. I might improve it a little bit, but uh, This is the best I could do for now considering that all of the logic blocks and stuff are actually underneath as you can see under there Yeah, 
But anyways, here we go. Let's, um, let's take this out <laughs> onto the city roads. I forgot to mention that this, uh, amulet is electric. It has an electric engine. <laughs> the first of its kind. Probably not. Probably not at all. But anyways, let's get this onto the road here. Oh man, this thing is a little too, a little too powerful. I should probably tune it down a little bit. Anyways, there we go. That's a little better. It's still a little crazy. I might just have to put a regular engine on it, but I guess this this kind of works for now. <laughs> yeah, let me replace that really quick. There we go. That is a lot better. Feels a lot more realistic now because the electric engines just suddenly halt and that's kind of a problem and they don't gradually gain speed. They stay at a consistent speed. But anyways, there we go. We have our little ambulance. We're gonna just take this around the block one more time. <laughs> There's not too many roads at the moment. I still gotta add some more four-way stops. Um, I'm gonna add a bunch of stop signs and stuff like over here instead of just traffic lights. But for now, I think that works. Let's pull this back into the parking spot here. Back up, get the patient into the hospital. It's a little, it's a little small for this, but I think it works. <laughs> um, it gets the job done, but there we go. We got our ambulance parked. Let's get out. There we go. Oh. Let's get the patient into the hospital and into ER and right into surgery. They go. Bam. But anyways, if you guys have any suggestions at all for future buildings or vehicles, let me know in the comments and we shall get to that in the future. But there we go, there's the hospital, and that's pretty much it guys, so if you enjoyed this episode, make sure to like and subscribe if you have not already, and thank you guys for watching and subscribing, and remember, stay sweet, bye!